Hey Leo, welcome back to my channel. Welcome back. So glad to have you here. I really am. Um, last week, you guys, we spoke about connections, love, and all that gushy, gushy stuff. Okay. Um, yeah. So if you didn't check it out and you're interested, please go do so. Wasn't able to get a bonus message out this week just because I was super busy. Um, but the bonus messages last week were for Taurus and Aquarius. Again, <laughs> um, crazy, crazy, crazy. They got the bonus messages two weeks in a row. I'm hoping that this week I'll be able to do one for you guys. Uh, we'll just see, you know, how my time is allocated. Um, but yeah, anyway, we're going to get back to the reg regularly scheduled program here. And... Um, go through your um sorry i feel really discombobulated right now i don't know what that's about um ooh, okay go through your energy and um look at this spread that i created okay i don't know what's going on right now okay perhaps you guys are in this space of, of feeling um confused or disoriented even it feels really strange honestly and uncomfortable essentially spirit what's the current situation for leo please let's get into this message um clear messages please for leo release me of any judgment any bias just your message please it's interesting too leo um i just did four readings with the same cards and then as I was shuffling and, and getting ready to do yours I was asked to switch the cards okay so I don't know why but that's what we're doing anyway so for the current situation we have the eight of wands um bottom of the deck is the page of wands uh, so I feel like for you guys this is a, a shift a directional shift okay um and it may be something that's very uncomfortable because it's new um the page of wands is about going on a new adventure and the eight of wands says to me that it's happening quickly um perhaps more quickly than you can keep up with or than you're used to you know the, I, I, there could be a lot of um you know fast or different changes happening within your career or just at your job um, in any situation really with the eight of wands here but I definitely see something happening quickly very very fast is the eight of wands okay there could also be some kind of uh, communication or, or a person here that we're seeing you know maybe someone in your space is moving quicker than you'd like them to someone might literally be moving here as well all right let's continue spirit tell me what's contributing to this eight of wands please for leo what's contributing to this eight of wands Seven of Swords. Tell me more. I just heard someone say I'm not ready. Tell me more, please. Thank you. Five of Pentacles. Seven of Swords, Five of Pentacles. like someone here okay 
it's it's like you can't get a grip on something okay because it's moving too fast you, you you feel like things are going to go uh, um, south quickly okay someone here is not ready I don't know what this is meaning hold on I just want to say it's at the bottom of the deck. Ten of Swords, yeah. Okay, so for some of, you know, if this is, if this has to do with a relationship, I mean, there could have been some kind of relationship that ended. Um, but again, I, I also feel like this has a lot to do with work. Like, things are really changing quickly at work or, or, or within your finances. Um, you know, maybe there was some kind, there was definitely some kind of ending, separation, um, and, and, um, disruption here okay there, there could have been some um underhanded behavior that that caused this this shift that caused things to change so quickly i feel like something definitely changed quickly and you were not aware or prepared for it that's essentially what i'm seeing okay let's see what their advice is your advice for Leo, please. I, f I really feel like this happened out of the blue. Just, just one day, things changed. What's your advice for Leo, please, Spirit? In this situation, what's your advice? Nine of Pentacles, Four of Cups, Three of Cups. Some of you might be dealing with a Capricorn or a Taurus or just a Virgo. I mean, what? <laughs> just an Earth sign in general. Um, we have the Devil here at the bottom of the deck. Okay, let me see. What this advice is about. I feel like a part of your advice here is to, to uh, conviction is what they're giving me. A, a part of your advice is to stand in your power um, and in what you believe in, something like that. Okay, there, there may be someone, I feel like someone is trying to taunt you or uh, maybe even your own thoughts about this person or about this situation or, or even about yourself um there, there's something here of something's trying to like lure you into uh making a, a, a different decision or um going down a different path okay hmm yeah because even as we see hold on let me put these like they belong because that's significant as well okay and that's why i say that with the seven of swords underneath of that is the nine of pentacles four of cups i feel like you know either either someone has already done this has already tried to get you to go in one direction when really you felt as though you should go in a different direction um you know the general readings will take that as it resonates with your situation that there's, there's this energy of taunting or um manipulation you know someone trying to manipulate you to make a certain decision but there's a need here for you to stand your ground there's a need here for you to see the unseen also is what i want to say like you know read between the lines you know and then when we get over here to this three of cups we have the four of cups three of cups and these are both underneath the five of pentacles I feel like someone wants you to go backwards. We're going to clarify um, this energy in a minute. Let's get the outcome first. Spirit, what's the outcome here for Leo? 
Okay, I'm feeling the need. Um, I don't think I said this in anyone's reading except for Aries. Um, I recently, after much struggle, <laughs> because I can be defiant a lot, <laughs> um, but I added my email address in the description box as well as just in the, um, I don't know, about section on my page. I don't know what the hell to call it. Anyway, if you are in need of or interested in a personal reading, I'm open to them and for them um, at this time, okay? Or just, um, you know, business inquiries even. My email address is in the description box. Okay, Spirit, tell me about the outcome, please, for Leo. outcome here for Leo. Ace of Cups, Ten of Cups, Five of Cups, and the Judgment card. What in the hell? And the Emperor at the bottom of the deck. All right, listen. <laughs> For some reason, I want to start out by saying the problem here is, <laughs> um, you know, as I was seeing with the, in the Nine of Pentacles and the Four of Cups, there's, there's definitely a need here to stand your ground. I feel like when and if you do, you, you'll come to this place of, of happiness, of security, of abundance, of um, being and feeling more fulfilled than you even were in whatever this thing was okay there, there was definitely some kind of change here I feel like it came in quickly for you with the eight of wands being the current situation um <clears throat> excuse me eight of wands can also represent cupid's love arrow you guys okay um and another way to view this with the with the seven of swords and five of pentacles is that you were or are in this position of being love struck and unable to see the reality of the situation okay um that's one way to view it but in the outcome you know if you're able to stand your ground able to be secure in your decision making because i feel like ultimately with this four of cups in the middle and directly underneath the eight of wands this was some kind of change here that you're doubting okay either doubting the universe because it happened or doubting yourself because you made it happen okay um but i feel like in the outcome again there's something better here but it's like you're still holding on to i i said this in a couple of readings ago you know i, I feel like for me the cups that we don't necessarily need to be in is four through seven um okay if we look at just the basic meaning of those cards um and you know the, with the four cups being in the middle of your reading there's something here that you need to take a closer look at okay the five of cups you know it's kind of like what we were seeing when, when the devil card showed up earlier the five of cups is an indication of con an, an energetic tie still being there okay there's something you need to look deeper at with the judgment card okay All right, let's clarify some stuff. Tell me about the Eight of Wands. Okay, please. Tell me about the Eight of Wands, please, for Leo. That's the Page of Cups. Okay. Again, I feel like for some of you... Hold on, where's that card that flipped over? Okay. I feel like for some of you, this, this has to do literally with... And there's the Emperor showing up again. 
um, it's I keep getting this love struck energy, but there's something about uh, about your I don't know if this is someone who ghosted you or or you feel like they will, you know, with the Hermit and the Five of Pentacles. I, I, I really feel like, hold on, let me get some more information here. Uh, the Emperor keeps showing up. Tell me more about the Eight of Wands. I, I really, you know, for some of you, I feel like this is a warning to to use your logic in a in a situation. You know, maybe maybe you feel as though you're moving too fast, but you're not listening to that um, intuitive nudge. Tell me more about the Eight of Wands, please, Spirit. Be clear here, as they give me five hundred cards. <laughs> Tell me more about the Eight of Wands, but I did see the High Priestess, so, you know, that's confirmation for me that there's a need here to listen to your intuition. Um, Eight of Wands can also be representative of um, uh, psychic abilities and, and intuitive messages, okay, um, coming in from the universe, and I, I really feel strongly here for some of you that that's something that you need to turn to. Um, Okay, what are they giving us? Queen of Wands and the Justice card. Could be a fire sign that's relevant here or a um, Libra even. We could also be talking about um, someone th who who's, um, has experienced, like I said, someone who ghosted you or um, someone who has experienced a... a so as I was saying, Leo, um, we have, I feel like we have a fight here, honestly. I don't know if, if it's with yourself or with another individual, but there's definitely a need to um, either look into someone's past or, or, you know, how they've acted in the past or um, something like that. Could even be how you've um, acted or approached situations in the past because going back to that whole moving too quickly thing um, I feel like something happened very quickly whether someone left you you know up and left you quickly and you didn't expect it okay or um, things changed at your job very quickly and you didn't expect it um, you know, I feel I definitely feel like it's for the better here. We have the Ace of Cups, Ten of Cups, um, in the outcome. So let's look at the Four of Cups because it's very significant in this message. What's this Four of Cups, please, for Leo? Clarify the Four of Cups here, please, for Leo. at the bottom of the deck lots of emotions here tell me more please spirit there's also something that you're not seeing like i said there's something that you're not seeing here clearly whether it is a decision that you made or actions that someone else took you know, or like, you know, if you're sitting in this energy of why is my, why are things changing at my job or why did I lose my job even, um, there's something that you're not seeing. <laughs> Ten of Cups, Three of Cups. This is what you're not seeing, Leo. The, what, whatever occurred is for the better. I mean, there's no other way to put it. And you're, you're gonna have to move past this energy of what was lost, okay? Let's move back up to that Five of Pentacles. Let's 
clarify this five of pentacles spirit what is it that was lost or changed um in this situation for leo clarify the five of pentacles please you okay back there you all right Um, what's this Five of Pentacles, please, for Leo? We have the Page of Wands showing up again. We have the King of Swords. We have the King of Cups. Okay, so there's some kind of um, infidelity here. Okay. Um, Seven of Cups is at the bottom of the deck, which represents someone who has options. But then there's the Four of Pentacles. And the moon showing up again. You know, this may be something that they kept from you if, if infidelity is your story. Okay. I also feel like there could have been... Um, like a halt, like a, a hard stop when you were trying to go towards something or make changes in your life, go on a new adventure. Um, travel even. But there's this sense of avoidance, like maybe you knew it or you knew this thing was about to come to an end or you, you knew things were about to change at your job you, you but, but there there's this sense of avoiding it king of swords king of cups i mean they're very they're two very different kings one um is about the truth and uh you know seeing things for for what what they really are and then the king of cups can sometimes be delusional have unrealistic expectations i mean you know similar to what the seven of cups represents at the bottom of the deck okay let's get some final messages for you and then we'll close out any final messages for leo please Any final messages here for Leo? <sighs> Two of Swords. Moon showing up again. And the Nine of Cups. You need to be honest with yourself, is what I want to say here. You need to be honest with yourself about what it is that you want, what it is that will actually bring you to this Ten of Cups, that will, will fulfill you emotionally, okay? I mean, the Four of Cups in the center of your reading is an indication of um, discontent. It's an, it's an indication of, um, yeah, also the, the, there's some kind of, like I said, infidelity or feeling of, of rejection there in the center. You know, maybe someone chose someone else or something else over you. I don't know. But the, um, and the hermit at the bottom of the deck. There, there's a need here with the hermit and the judgment card, like I said, in the outcome here to do some deep soul searching and, and figure out what it is that you want, which way you need to go here. Um, it's about you, you, you. The Nine of Cups is a very selfish energy, but um, nothing wrong with being selfish when it's necessary. Nothing wrong with that, okay? There's a lot of fear here, a lot of indecision, a lot of um, stuck energy, and as I said earlier, a lot of emotions as well on the table, okay? You need to do some soul searching and rely on your experience. That's a very heavy message for someone. Rely on your experience, either either what you know about this person, what they've shown you to be true, something like that, okay? Leo, this is the message I have for you. I hope it helps in your decision making moving forward. Don't forget to like the video, share the love, and subscribe to the channel. I'll see you guys next time for the next one. Bye.